So I just finished installing my Slim Shade. Uh, this is a replacement or a uh, new application uh, window for your RV door. Um, so a couple things that I uh, wanted to mention uh, that I figured would be help for anybody installing this. And I don't see any videos online for this, so you know I figured I'd put one up here. Um, so I cut out the hole exactly as the lines were for the template. Um, so this is the template, and I cut it out right on the black line. And then I cut the door. And as you can see, the template and the door match up. But here's the issue. Then when I went to go put the window in, I had too much of a gap on the top and on the bottom. So if I were redoing this again, I would take this template, because the curve on the ends are correct. I would take this template and I would cut it down about a quarter of an inch here, and then go back up and then hit the curve because the curve matched, the corners matched, and um, the sides matched. But I would, I would cut this down just a quarter inch on the bottom, and I'd do the same a quarter inch on the top, because uh, there was a, a half inch gap minimum that I had. And now this said tolerance was a quarter inch, so I'm figuring if they figure a quarter inch on the top and a quarter inch on the bottom, you know, uh, that, that's a half an inch. Um, and then I had a, I still had a lot more room than that. So I definitely would do that. Um, so when you so when you're putting the window frame in, uh, the, the glass is attached to the frame already. Um, and then you have this out this inside trim, which the shade fits into. Um, what I ended up doing was is I, I fit the top and I, I just let the bottom hang, this piece hang. Um, and I got the top screwed in to the outside frame um, and then I stretched the bottom piece in, clipped it to the bottom in here, pushed that in and then connected that to the bottom of the frame of, of the outside frame. And that worked out really well. So like I said, this is a couple things that I noticed that I thought were an issue. I'll take you over and show you the door and the window. There you go. This what it looks like installed. And then, you know, this outside trim piece, you know, they give you plenty enough room for coverage. Um, I did silicone once I put the outside on. I did put silicone in the gap all the way around. Even where it was just norm a normal gap, I filled that with silicone just so that this thing would not shift or anything. Um, it gave it something um, to hold it in place. I mean, you could probably use uh, some latex uh, spray foam or something. Um, I, I had some silicone, so that's what I used. Um, but here's the shade. You know, it tucks all the way up into the top. And like I said, I fit the top in with the shade, and I screwed just two screws in, and then I stretched the frame down here, and I clipped it in to its to where it clips into, and then I, I put these two screws in, and then I did the rest. So like I said, you know, pretty easy install. It took me about an hour, and I had to cut the hole. I did not have a window there, um, and it worked out great. So like I said, I think, uh, I think these tips would help. Um, I wish I would have uh, been able to watch a video of somebody that had previously uh, installed one of these but like I said this um, this window is a real easy install built in the USA I have no problem with the manufacturer um, I would just make sure that your uh, you keep your tolerance as tight um, on, on your hole if you're cutting if you're cutting out um, you know the hole or cutting into your trailer um, you don't want you do not want that hole to be too big um, so I hope this helps, uh, like my video and, uh, by all means, if you have any questions, comment and I'll, uh, I'll try to answer them promptly. Thank you very much and make it a great day guys.